Our tried and tested hub preparation process works flawlessly when done correctly. Unfortunately, this is dependent on the human who is performing the procedure, and not everyone is perfect every time. The Bird j -Bend insert system removes that human element for consistent results each time. This will reduce the chances of a spoke being cut due to hub preparation mistakes. Hubs are placed in the installation fixture, set up on a drill press using the correct spacers for your axle size and hub width, then each spoke hole is reamed out using the reaming bit. Finally, each hole inside and out gets an insert pressed in using the insert installation pliers. From there, the wheels are laced, tensioned, and trued as normal. Let's get into the details. The Bird j -Bend insert system is made up of a few different components, which is made up of the following parts. A metal base plate, a rod with a screw nut, and a fixture with an assortment of sleeves and spacers for holding 12 and 15 millimeter axles and spacing from 100 to 197 millimeters. A number 30 carbide chucking reamer supplied by Bird. A J-Bend insert installation pliers and J-Bend inserts. Necessary tools and supplies. The only tool necessary to use the Bird J-Bend insert system is a drill press with a minimum of 10 inches of clearance between the table and the bottom of the chuck. You will also need a drill bit lubricant like cutting oil or WD-40. Always wear safety glasses and all appropriate PPE while using the Bird j -Bend insert system at the drill press and while pressing the inserts into the hub. To ream the spoke holes for j -Bend insert installation, place the j -Bend installation fixture on the table and adjust as needed. Select the correct width axle sleeve and hub spacer for the hub that you're working with. The hub should extend to the top of the threaded rod with the screw nut secured. Fully secure the screw nut to anchor the hub securely to the fixture. Lubricate the reaming bit with a drill bit lubricant like cutting oil or WD-40. Set the drill press to the lowest speed and carefully line up the reaming bit with each spoke hole. Carefully ream out the spoke hole. Repeat the process for each spoke hole. Flip the hub, lubricate the reaming bit, and repeat the process on each remaining spoke hole. Once all of the spoke holes have been reamed, clean the hub to remove any metal shavings. Each reaming bit will last up to 10 to 20 sets of hubs. Replace the reaming bit as needed to ensure clean cuts every time. It is not advised to use the Bird j -Bend installation system on softer alloy hubs such as DT Swiss, as ragged edges may be left after reaming. To install the J-Bend inserts, place an insert on the pin of the installation pliers with the collar down. Hold the hub sideways and line up the insert with the spoke hole and apply pressure to the pliers to press the insert into the spoke hole. Rotate or move the pliers to ensure that the insert sits flush with the hub flange. Repeat the process on each spoke hole, front and back. You will use a total of two inserts for each spoke hole. And that's the Bird j -Bend insert installation system designed to eliminate the human element from the Bird spokes hub preparation process, resulting in more consistent spoke hole preparation each and every time. Check out the Bird j -Bend insert installation system and all of our professional wheel building tools at birdspokes.com or on our B2B. If you're working in a shop, but you're not a bird dealer, drop us a line at sales at birdspokes.com. We would love to be a part of your business.